So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. So today we talk about re reducing an image collection in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So reducing an image collection means acquiring a single set of an image from a set of uh, large sets of imagery. Like to generate a single image out of an entire set of uh, image collection using the function called reducer. So it is done using some statistics uh, like mean, median, and uh, maximum so to generate a single image out of an entire set of image collections. So in that such a situations, we use uh, reducers. So it can be a reducer uh, median or reducer max. So in this video, we will talk about a load a Landsat 8 image collection for a single path and row and uh, compute a median in each band for uh, each cell and uh, add the layer to Google Earth Engine. So now uh, first let's, uh, let's uh, load a Landsat 8 image collection for a single path row. So we defined a variable called collection equals to double E image collection Landsat 8 Landsat 8 collection 1 tire 1 top of an atmosphere so we are filtering so this particular uh, this code uh, will bring all the entire uh, global coverage of landsat 8 image to filter that we using a specific uh, path and row that is done by dot filter double e filter dot eq wrs path 170 and similarly dot filter double e dot filter dot eq wrs row 52 and uh, third is we have filter using our temporal filter that is the specific time series that is we are using dot filter date 2017 1 1 2017 December 31. Uh, finally we output this uh, output output this result we are using a print selection. So now let me show you this path and row. So this is a USGS the United States of Geological Survey. This is on a free uh, site we can able to download a uh, Landsat uh, uh, 8 images. So here, I've shown this is each of the image has its own specific path and row. Now let me uh, show you this. So you can see from here that uh, each uh, each path and row indicates a specific type of uh, specific image from Landsat 8 image. Specific area for that. Uh, using a, a path and row, we can uh, see that specific area satellite image. So using that, so using that, we are used uh, a specific satellite image that is uh, with the path of 170 and row of 52. So now let me uh, run the script. So go to this option called run. So the output is displayed in the control section. So let us see. So we have type and ID, ID for the Landsat 8 image, the version, the bands. So we have a, a total of 11 bands. And the features, we have 22 uh, different satellite image for that particular row that is path and row. We have 22, uh, 22 satellite image for that particular path and row in this specific time period from 2017 January to 2017. Uh, December till 31st. So we have 22 uh, 21 satellite image of Landsat 8. And uh, let me show you the properties. So we have 37 properties. So next is to compute as median in each band of each pixel. So suppose we want to generate a single image out of uh, a large sets of image collection. We generally use it, uh, generally use the statistics like median and maximum and mean. So in this we have, uh, suppose that we want to acquire only a, a spare, one particular satellite image from a sets of uh, satellite image. So in that case we are using a uh, media that is a reducer. A reducer function is being used in order to generate a single satellite image from a set of image collections. So for, for that, we define a variable called 
variable that is var median is equal to collection dot producer reduce bracket double e dot producer dot median. So this specific function will generate that is a median of a median for the entire satellite image for Im entire uh, image collection a medium a set of image for to generate that is to generate a single or a, a particular median of image from a large sets of image collection for that we are using this function called reducer so it will generate a medium statistics for all the sets of this 22 images for each pixels so using this function we can acquire a single set of satellite image from a set of uh, from a large collection of imageries so so third one is to uh, to add it to our map that is to add it in the google earth engine for that we define a variable called visualization parameter equals to bands b4 median so here the media median defines we are using the this particular reducer function so we have to define b4 dot b4 dash median and similarly b3 median and um, b2 median dot gamma 1.6 so suppose we want to add this layer map dot add layer add layer median so here median refers to this variable called var median that is the reducer so this particular uh, function states that we are using uh, to acquire a particular uh, particular satellite image from a sets of uh, a large color image collections so here we have about 21 different image uh, image collection to acquire a particular image by using this uh, reducers so now to uh, add a layer we define map dot add layer median comma visualization parameter that is here we define that variable parameters visualization parameters and to map dot center object referring to the collection the image collection then uh, define the zoom level so now let us run this so go to this option called run run the script So this is our Landsat 8 satellite image that is uh, arrived from that is arrived from a large uh, set of satellite image. So using median function, we can acquire a particular set of satellite image. So plus uh, this satellite image has a very less cloud uh, contamination. That's good. So basically, we have uh, used a reducer to acquire a single set of satellite, a single. A satellite image from a large set of uh, satellite image so uh, in this video I have shown you how to load a Landsat 8 image using the path and row and define the temporal uh, filter and uh, use of this reducer function to acquire a single satellite image from a large set of image collection and add it to it add it uh, add the layer in Google Earth Engine so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel Give us a like.